be on the Facebook with the baby. <laughs> and then baby come in, I search the house, and Lord, it must you ain't never seen such a fit in your life, you folks. She likes Debbie, huh? Yeah. See, baby, I'm the sweetheart. Yeah, yes. I just All righty. Monday morning. 42 degrees. So I got all the trees out of the wood line here. Whew, bouncy. And all the trees on that side and that side. All those trees that were over in there everywhere. Clean that up. Here's my my debris pile. I'm gonna have to plant some evergreens along the front there. And then this one turned out real good. I think we'll probably cut that tree right there down, push it over. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So I got all that cleaned up except for one or two right there that I still have to get. And this side's all cleaned up. <clears throat> Windshield's foggy. And all this is cleaned up. That's my last root ball to get out right there. And it's on the monster locust tree waiting for a sharp chainsaw chain to do that. This is all cleaned up. And then we've got it started for the driveway that's gonna go in and loop around and come back out right there. And then right here, is where we started leveling for the container. Boy, you need a little sunshine to see. Let me turn around. The sun's about to pop up. So, the container goes back there. Moved it down the hill. I think originally I had it here. I moved it down the hill a little bit. Then right there's a little flat pad, small flat pad. And it slopes away down to the wonderful massive brush pile. But got a lot of that smoothed up. I have to get the finish on that, grass seed on it this week. There's the pretty knoll. Circle driveway goes in there. And around, is it gonna come back out here? Come back out right there, so we're gonna build that too. And then, we got all that stuff right there cleaned up. And all the stuff right here cleaned up. Got the one locust tree right there to get. Cleaned all this up over here. Started me a rock collection. That looks so much better. I need to get those two leaning trees out of there. Uh. 
in to get five tons of stone put under the container see the quarry right there across the scales. Give them our money. What do you think, baby? Hmm? What do you think? Hmm? So, coming in with 4.8 tons of stone and it has rained and nevertheless I'm a little bit nervous about this because I've never driven this truck before. So we will go super slow and hopefully not smash anything up. But if anybody can do it, I can. funny when I was in the skid steer I thought I had this driveway smoother than this it's deceptive there's James and the root ball on the locust tree that still hasn't been gotten rid of because it's so big big as the truck. It's bigger than you, baby. How big that thing is. So I brought the truck in, but I was too skilled to drive it around through here backwards with as much as it's rained. And since James is Mr. Awesome, he's going to do it. I'm glad to see he's going so slow. I'll come down here and see if he needs any help. Well, now the sun comes out. I see how it is. We'll stand down here. 
offer him encouragement. He's getting a thumbs up, by the way. You act like you've done that before. Got your chain set? Got your chain set? You don't want to dump them over the hill? <laughs> well, you did good, James. I'm proud of you. Where's baby? <laughs> baby, you were licking my hands just five minutes ago. Now you hate me. I'll go over here and cry by myself. Just like that, a hundred dollars. That's just for the stone. Now let's see if he turns over. Rope strike in the ground. I believe that's rope exactly, exactly the right length. So, we build a rock wall right there. I'm gonna come back this way a little bit. All right, here is today's video. So, from the backhoe down to the brush pile, along the slope right there, ready for grass seed. First load of gravel on the pad where the container goes, and the circle driveway is rough cutting in. Got a little more work to do right here, but.
to drive around this way and then back right into the shipping container. 15 feet wide right there. Container's 8 feet wide, so plenty of room. Get ready for grass seed. And gravel is ordered for tomorrow. So, unfortunately, lots of rain in the forecast. got the monster locust tree but it'll happen eventually I guess nice smooth and graded just one so it's gravels because it's plural haha uh -huh. all right into the tour over.
turned around and now he's going backwards. But I don't think he loosened his chains up anymore, so might have another poor spread. He's going to turn over. I got one coming from you. Sisson and Ryan is supposed to be here already. Uh, but if they don't show, I'll probably get a third one from you. I'll call them. How long does it take you to make a round trip? About an hour? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. All right. So a little, little over an hour. I'll give them a call. And, uh, Here's the circle drive, ready to put some stone on it. Stone's here, bank account's empty now. I believe it's gonna rain on us today, so we're gonna get some grass seed down today. Get the transit up before it gets wet. But, comes around here. prettying up to do right here and then right there shipping container pad the meadow the forest horizontal forest all right juju let's go let's go we 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 Right, Tuesday, four seven, I believe it is. And gravel is down. Seventeen hundred dollars worth of gravel. Probably be gone in six months. Smashed down into the ground, but it's nice right now. And we found water today, which I wasn't too worried about, but it's nice to have it officially confirmed. So you can really tell now, so right there is the circle drive. And then right there is where the container goes that I'm pointing at with my dirty, dirty finger. 
And up here's the view. Not the best time of the day to be showing the view, but we'll get a sunrise and sunset in soon enough. So, we'll go down here and drive around the Circle Drive. The monster locust tree is still here. I'm thinking I need to give it a name. So, all this down here is ready for grass seed and flowers, which is what I'm doing right now. I think I have something like 26,000 flower seeds to put down there. Um, hopefully half of them will come up and flower. So we'll go around the circle drive. It'll be my first time around it in a vehicle. So far, I've only been around it in the skid steer. cut down the rest of these trees, we could pave this and put a McDonald's in. Actually a little scary my first time. I was skilled, but not as skilled as I was when I was pulling the truck in in the rain. That wasn't bad. I believe I'd be able to come through there in a bigger vehicle, but did make it in this one. Good grief. So I managed to drive all the way out here with my rear hatch open. That was brilliant. I'm definitely tired today. Hopefully tomorrow it will rain all day and I can run errands instead of sweating. All right, let's put down some grass seed, some fertilizer, and some flower seeds. This is where the rock wall will go. Oh, James left his Here's my seeds I have. And I have 27,000, 2,700 Shasta daisies, 26,000 Black Eyed Seasons. 7,700 Gloriosa daisies and another 7,700 Gloriosa daisies. I got these at CheapSeeds.com. I have ordered from them before and uh, that one was a mediocre success. Um, it rained real hard and turned cold right after, I mean like a record rainfall and uh, drowned a lot of my seeds. Sweet Alyssum 8,700 seeds. Love in a Mist, 2,200 seeds. And Virginia Stock, 8,000 seeds. And Creeping Time, 9,250 seeds. And here are my purple cone flowers. And that's 1,200 seeds. And so I'm not going to mix them all together. I'll plant like a swath and then I'll put one over there and one over here and one up top and then a section here. And so hopefully for the no mow lawn, I am doing creeping red fescue and white Dutch clover. It's only supposed to get six to eight inches tall. And I got these at Southern States. Which I've also bought all of this before and had great success with. And then I have a 50 pound bag 
of annual ryegrass and a bag of 10 10 10 fertilizer let's get started all right here we go annual ryegrass first So not really the best camera placement right here. Um, the foreground right in front of the camera hasn't been smooth, but out where I am right now, that's been smoothed and worked out there. But it was going to rain and I wanted to get all my grass seed down uh, prior to the rain and the soil was just worked up too. So that's the time to do it. But um, I did smooth all that up and pick up those sticks and everything later on. Normally I would put straw down after all the seed went down, but I didn't have any. And like I said, I wanted to get my seed down before the rain and the soil was nice and soft. So uh, fortunately, uh, I guess it's a good thing I didn't get my straw down because it rained and it all would have washed away. It rained way too much rain. But uh, the next little bit of footage here, um, there's a lot of birds and wind and stuff in it, but uh, it's kind of repetitive putting the seeds down. But if that's something that you want to do, um, it's a good visual of how I did it and the success of it. Su success of it. So a um, little bit of repetitive walking back and forth coming up right here. So I talk about what seed I'm putting down at the beginning of each little walk here, but right at the end, I'll review each of the seeds similar to the beginning of this video. Um, there's also a nice woodpecker somewhere along this little section right here. And Juju does a very good job of staying in the picture frame during most of this. All right, 10, 10, 10 fertilizer.
All right, five pounds white Dutch clover, six pounds of creeping red fescue, and two pounds of annual ryegrass as filler to help it spread a little bit further. And I spilled about a pound of it on the ground. in one little area of pure white clover, Dutch clover, right here. All right, love in a mist, 2,200 seeds, and sweet alyssum, 8,700 seeds. On the windward side right there, because these are fragrant, so that most of the time the wind will blow that across the area.
All right, 7,700 and 7,700 Gloriosa Daisy. Twenty six thousand black eyed Susans. Two thousand seven hundred Shasta Daisies. Twelve hundred purple cone flowers. Eight thousand Virginia stock. Nine thousand two hundred fifty creeping thyme. I've never. This is one of the ones I've never planted before. Not sure what to expect of this, but I'm gonna plant it up in here where, when you walk through it, you can smell the thyme. Okay, so I have planted just like this before with success, not awesome success, but success. And I've also done it one other time. That was a dismal failure. I planted right before it rained, exactly like this before. The ground was worked the day before. Grass seed and fertilizer went down. And it rained non-stop for days and days and days. 
and inches of rain every day and practically nothing came up I think it all washed away actually but nevertheless so for all these seeds that I just planted I paid thirty four dollars and five cents with free shipping from CheapSeeds.com which is where I bought the other two times and uh, most of these are between 85 and 95 percent germination rate you pay more for a higher germination rate and the purity rate was in the 85 to 90 percent purity range also um, you pay more for more purity I'm fine with $34 to plant I don't know what have we got 26 36 46 56 about 60,000 seeds for $34 and I just did it in about an hour it's been $11 on the fertilizer and uh, we'll see how it goes though because I'll take more pictures and uh, these videos are for me because I've done things in the past and uh, it's very rewarding to see the before and the after so hopefully this will be a rewarding task it's a dirty task but we'll see 30 days we'll know for sure So here we're looking for the spring head and that is about 20 feet deep look at this not a very good example James says there used to be water here at one time because the rocks back there are black but we found the spring right down there on Facebook a bit with baby. <laughs> and then Baby come in, I start the house, and Lord, it must be you ain't never seen such a pit in your life, you folk. She likes Debbie, huh? Yeah. See, baby, I'm the sweetheart. Yeah, yes. I just wonder if you get that one more label, bring it down. 